Bismillah, wassalat wassalam ala rasulullah Hello everyone, today we're going to start a new lesson entitled Paragraph Editing It means to add punctuation marks to a paragraph which is a group of sentences So here we are not punctuating individual sentences Here we are adding punctuation marks to a whole paragraph The objectives of this lesson, which means by the end of this lesson, student will be able to number one, identify punctuation marks that are missing. This means the punctuation marks that are not there to to punctuate correctly the paragraph of course to end up with a paragraph with clear cut sentences <clears throat> okay so we have two objectives number one to identify punctuation marks that are missing this means that are not there and to punctuate correctly to to end up with a paragraph with clear cut sentences with clear sentences so that we know where each sentence st starts and where each sentence ends so that we can come up at the at the end with a meaningful paragraph now we are going to write a paragraph and try to uh, punctuate it and edit that paragraph this paragraph is Tom in England. Okay? So this is the title. And the paragraph is as follows. Tom is from England he is 22 years old he was born in London but he lives in Liverpool Tom studies French literature at Liverpool University. He likes fishing, reading, and <coughs> visiting museums. Tom 
speaks English as mother tongue, of course, French, and Italian. So, my dear students, this is the end of the paragraph. Now we are going to read it again and try to edit this paragraph and see what punctuation marks are missing in this paragraph. As you can see, it is all uh, ca can be seen just as one sentence and we want to divide this paragraph into different sentences so that we can understand what we have. Tom, as you know, is a proper noun and it must be capital T. Tom is from England, also is the name of a country, so it must be capital E. And the sentence has finished. We have a full stop to indicate the end of the sentence. Now we start with a new sentence, so we start with H. He is 22 years old, also full stop. We start with capital H because a new sentence. He was born in London, again, capital L. And we have comma before but, but he lives in Liverpool. Again, it is a name of a city, full stop. Tom, again, a new sentence and a proper noun, capital T. Tom studies French literature. Because this is a branch of a study, then we have to capitalize it. So, French and literature at also Liverpool University. And we have full stop. Notice that university alone is not capitalized usually. But when it comes with the name of the university, we capitalize it. He, capital H, because it's a new sentence, he likes fishing reading and visiting museums. As you can see here, we are making a list of more than two things, so we have to set them off by using comma, fishing, reading, and visiting museums, and we have full stop. Of course, you know that this one is optional, so you can do or you can do without it. Tom, capital T, speaks English. Also, all languages are capitalized. English, comma, French, and Italian. And we end with a full stop. This is everything about editing a paragraph. And as you can see here, we have finished editing this paragraph and divided the uh, paragraph into different sentences so that it is meaningful and one can understand what you can read. Thank you very much for your follow-up. Thanks.